When people drive by, it looks like a mess, but it's organized and it's not at all what it was, what it once was. Uh, people that are tradesmen, like a plumber or an electrician, will bring material left over from a job. Can be people doing home cleanouts. They come in, we weigh up their material. If it's small enough to get in here on a carriage, they get a ticket, we grade it, and they get paid at the, the window over here. From here, we figure out what we're gonna do with it. If it's a copper or a brass, it's sheared, and then organized and inventoried at that point. We have a number of different things that we do to make sure that nothing from one side of the operation passes through. Uh, First thing we have is an impervious barrier, concrete. And then the next level, you know, the next level after that is hay bales that run the property. So any suspended solids are being stopped. We're constantly cleaning and paying attention to what's going on. Here we've got um, four grades of copper. Aluminum rims, stainless steel. The goal is to be able to maximize weight and quality when we make shipments. So to do that, we do some heavy processing in this building. Here is our operator's booth where he can control both presses. You can see what's coming up the conveyor systems and you can see what's going into the charging box. You can see the camera looks straight down. And what ends up happening is when the bales come out, they look like this. As it, as it ejects, there's a track. This wire is tied off on it, and you end up with what's supposed to be an organized, nice commodity. In this case, it's uh, exportable corrugated. That's styrofoam that's melted. You know, styrofoam is really heavy and bulky. This is densified. It actually comes out like toothpaste. If you pick it up, it's heavy. It, it's heated, and then it comes out like toothpaste, and now it's the same properties as styrofoam but you can transport it easily because you'd never get enough weight to justify the truck. This is what they tell you at Rhode Island Resource Recovery not to put in with your single stream. It's actually one of the recyclables that goes into single stream that actually has retained value. I mean, the value changes because we're talking about commodities. They rise and fall and you have to weigh in what does it take to process it versus what can you get for it. But we process a lot of this film. It's a good item. The state would take it too, except it's, it makes it impossible for their system to get the rest of the, the grades out. When we had our hundredth, our centennial, we decided to commission a, uh, an artist to put a mural up. And it took him an entire summer. The guy was really interesting, but this is our mural and it. We tried to represent as many, many different things as we could that, that, that had to do with our business or our family or the community.